Good morning and welcome to Our Chicago. I'm Judy Sue. The Illinois Attorney General is the state's chief legal officer responsible for protecting the public interest of the state and its people. This morning we're speaking with the two major party candidates for the office in the November 8th election. The incumbent is Democrat Kwame Raoul. We'll be speaking with him in our second half today. First, we're talking with a Republican challenger, Tom DeVore. He is an attorney from Southern Illinois. Many voters may remember that he filed several lawsuits against Governor Pritzker administration over COVID mitigations. DeVore says he is running to be, quote, be a check on unchecked power and corruption. Tom DeVore joining me now to talk more about his candidacy. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you for having me. As you know, this election for attorney general comes at a critical moment legally across the country when so many major issues are facing states, including crime, election integrity, the overturn of Roe versus Wade and LGBTQ rights, just to name a few. What would be your top priority if elected? Well, I think crime right now is on everybody's mind for a variety of reasons. And in Illinois, it has to do with the Safety Act. You know, the Safety Act has now been, uh, uh, suits been filed against the governor and the attorney general by almost 58 states attorneys because of the constitutionality. So why crime is certainly uh, increasing across the state and major areas, it's going to even get worse on January 1st if the safety act's not repealed. So that's a big conversation a lot of people are talking about. And if I'm the attorney general, I'll actually join those 58 states attorneys, both Democrat and Republican, and work to get this thing deemed unconstitutional. Well, let's follow up on the safety act. So it touches on a number of issues including police certification, use of body cameras. But what is getting the most attention is the cashless bail. You know that supporters say it makes the system actually more fair. Why should someone who has more money, who can afford bail, get out, those who are poor, but could be equally innocent, have to sit in jail awaiting trial? You have said that you believe the bill to be unconstitutional. Why? Well, it's unconstitutional in its totality because it violates, among other things, the single issue rule of the Constitution. This bill touches on up to as many as eight topics, and you can't do that under the Constitution. So that makes it in its totality unconstitutional for the manner of which it was passed. We can have individual conversations about specific components of that bill and whether they have merit or not, but the manner of which this was passed makes the whole thing unconstitutional. And as for the issue of the no cash bail, for those who want to say that it creates equity, actually, when you drill right down into it, it doesn't create equity at all. Why, well, why not? Well, because you're trying to say if someone doesn't have money, that in and of itself is causing people to sit in jail when otherwise they may not. Under this new law, the option is going to be for the judge to detain them until their trial without even giving them any opportunity to be able to bond out under any circumstances. So, you know, that's the extreme that this law does. If someone's sitting in jail only because they don't have money, there was an opportunity for them to post bond. And maybe that bond is excessive. Maybe it should be lowered. Those are all fair conversations. But the alternative that this law now gives the judge is just to detain them until their trial without ever having the chance to get out. Where's the equity in that? Okay, I'm gonna to try to get through two more questions uh, on crime. You have said that in, during this campaign, you want to be tough on crime. What would you do when it comes to organized retail theft and gun crimes? Well, to be tough on crime means that there has to be an understanding in our state that if you break the laws that you're going to be prosecuted. Now, obviously, that has to be coupled with the legislature and other administrative agencies doing their job to figure out why the crimes continue to be committed. That's a separate conversation. But to be tough on crime, again, Kim Fox herself raised the retail theft limitation to $1,000 arbitrarily in Cook County when she didn't have the authority to do that. That's one of many things that's causing crime to increase more when it comes to the, the theft in the stores, et cetera. What about public corruption in the state? How would you take that on? Well, public corruption, we've had nine state level officials indicted by the federal government since Governor Pritzker took office, zero for the attorney general. The people of our state are starting to lose confidence in their government because they continue to see this corruption unfolding at the federal level with the federal prosecutors. If I'm the attorney general, we will participate materially in that. And if we will investigate and prosecute them ourselves here in the state of Illinois without relying upon the federal government. As we said in the beginning, you became known statewide during the pandemic when you sue the state over COVID mandates. Is that why you decided to run? 
Not necessarily, no. The, and the COVID mandates, people need to understand that it was never about masks. It was never about vaccines. It was about the executive officer of our state wielding unprecedented power over people that's intended for the legislature. That's what's important about that. And that's what I would try to limit and control and be a check on that executive power. What about, I mean, I have time for one more quick question. What about election integrity? What do you think the role of the AG is in that? Well, the election integrity for the AG is to investigate and prosecute anyone who would violate our election laws. That starts with having people materially participating in the process. Mr. Raul and I actually agree on that, that we shouldn't just have these dangerous generalized conversations about election integrity uh, unless they are grounded in, and have foundation in specific facts of when people are engaging in impropriety. And to the extent that happens, it needs to be investigated and prosecuted. And again, that starts with people participating and being there on the ground watching what's going on. All right, and that is our time here this morning. Tom DeVore, Republican candidate for Illinois Attorney General. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.